So it is final season and I've got a brand new one from UES. You know I love these guys, so let's get right into it. Right, so I realized I'm double stacking with the UES shirts. Last week I did the one, uh, the Tracatine shirt, which is an absolute beast. If you haven't seen that shirt, go back and watch my video. I'll put the link up, up top down below. I don't know why other stores aren't stocking it. There's a lot of stores that stock these flannels from UES, but not stocking that Tricotine beast of a shirt. It's sold out everywhere that I've seen. Uh, and I don't know why shops don't order loads of it. If you're a shop and you have it, let me know. I'll put your link down below if you're intending to get it, or if you haven't got it and you're seeing this video, trust me, every single store has that has it has sold out in it. So you're missing a trick if you're not stocking that shirt and so many people want it. I've checked on Reddit, there's people like going on about it and it's a, it's a great shirt. Anyway, that's for another video. Today, got a new shirt, a new flannel from UES. It's a lovely, lovely pattern. It's like their purple check. And you know I love UES. You know I've got this one from last year. I've got a video on this one as well. Uh, it was my first foray into their proper flannels as such. Uh, and I think UES flannels for me, they really hit that sweet spot. So I've got a lot of flannels from other brands and given I've not tried every brand, there's so many flannels out there and brands that I've not tried. So I know I need to sort of broaden my horizons as such, but for what I have tried and seen and, and, and own, uh, these UES ones just really hit that sweet spot. That is in terms of the cut, the drape, the the sleeve length, the, the the thickness of the flannel, the warmth, everything about it just for me and my body shape and size, whatever, just is perfect. So I think everyone needs at least one UES flannel in their wardrobe. Now last year I got this one and I think I mentioned that I got this brown kind of check kind of uh, gray one because it was kind of understated and I didn't really like patterns that were out there. And I know I've blown that out of the water recently with the 20th anniversary one from Ironheart and now this one as well. I still think this is quite understated as well. It's uh, it, it's dark and dark ones sort of, for me, sort of blend in with, you know, with the black shirt as well. Uh, now, I did see this originally when they announced it, but um, I just let it go until I saw uh, Josh from Iron Shop Provisions really put a really cool picture on his uh, Instagram of it. And I was like, damn, I, <laughs> I need that. So uh, I've been talking to Josh. If you don't know Iron Shop Provisions, they're in Louisiana. Uh, they're a great shop, great bunch of guys as well. Um, they've always helped, they've helped me out before. I did a, a video many years ago on a Studio Dartisan uh, flannel that I could not find anywhere for the life of me except for these guys. And they got it, got it for me, got it out to me from Louisiana to the UK in really quick, quick time. So if you haven't checked out Iron Shop Provisions, uh, I'll put a link down below um, to them and to this flannel. They've got it there as well. Um, go check them out. Really cool guys. And they've got some like side projects with like iron work and, and stuff. Uh, really cool hangers for your denim, um, which are really, really cool. So yeah, really check them out. Um, so yeah, I reached out to them to get this, picked it up. Absolutely phenomenal shirt, I think, once you get it in the hands. A lot of times you see colors and you're like, oh, I don't think that goes. But then when you get it, yeah, they, they really go with a lot of things, especially this, because it's dark and it's, it, it's, it's stated as purple, but it's really dark kind of purple. So why is this flannel amazing? Like I said at the beginning, that the cut of it is just perfect for me. They, they, they just do it so well. The length of the sleeves is really spot on for me. So a lot of flannels that you get from other brands are really long in the sleeves where the body's perfect. You just can't get that balance. Uh, I find with UES the balance is, is, is spot on for me. So I really do love these. The, um, the, the brushness of it on the inside, now this hasn't been washed yet, so it'll change, but the brushness straight out the, off, the, off the rail uh, is just super, super supple and soft. And on the converse on the other side, it's got this real kind of, I would say like a coarseness to it. And the best way to describe the feel of this flannel in all of their UES flannels is if you've ever held Sashiko or Sashiko, uh, which is kind of like a raised kind of coarse kind of feel to it, that's what this feels on the outside. Uh, and it gives that kind of ruggedness feel to it, ruggedness appearance as well. But the inside is such a difference. It's so soft and supple. So I really like it for that factor. It's also got these acorn type pockets as well. So you see the acorn top pockets here, palm, nut, uh, buttons as well, uh, which, which can't go wrong. Triple stitched uh, down the bottom. The stitching is really, really impeccable with these guys. They, built, they build solid clothes. Like I haven't had anything from UES and that goes for the ramen yana t-shirt, uh, anything that has really fallen apart, they, they are impeccable with their materials. And the pricing is really good for UES as well, you know? But overall it's that weight, it's 14 and a half ounces, which for me, perfect for the UK. We're not in 
the Antarctic and uh, we're not in Australia, so it's, uh, it's it's middle weight, you know, so I really can't go wrong with it. I love wearing this with a black uh, t-shirt. Uh, it goes really, really well, I think. It just blends that dark purple with the black, really fits. The sleeves are perfect in terms of they come to the perfect point uh, and you really can't go wrong. It's rinsed once as well, so it's the shrinkage is gonna be minimal to none. So if you, you get your size, uh, you, you're pretty much gonna stay that size. Now talking about sizing, uh, I take a three in UES and that is standard large usually. So take your normal size if you're gonna get a UES shirt. So I'm a three, large, and that's what it and just on the sizing, this is a three in uh, UES or UES. Uh, I'm, I take a three in all of their, their items. Uh, I'm a large, you know, usually in most Japanese things, I'm a large. And when I say large, I'm around 80 kilos, which is around 176 pounds will take, and I'm roughly around six foot as well. So I take a three in UES. Now, as I said, it is a slim fit. So I say take your normal size if you want that slim fit. You're definitely not gonna layer under this at all. Uh, if you wanted a more relaxed fit, I'd say go one size up, but you're really buying this for the fit. I am anyway, it's per it's perfect. So uh, take your normal size if you want a nice trim, nice uh, level fit. Now, I would say they call it just a heavy sl heavy selvage flannel, uh, but they don't really call out if it's work shirt or whatever. I think I'm no expert in the styles of the eras and, and so on and so forth. It's a work shirt. It doesn't have a Western patch, you know, the over the shoulder. It doesn't have the snaps or anything like that. Uh, it, is it a work? It is a work shirt. And from what I was told is work shirts are historically supposed to have shorter sleeves because you're supposed to work in them. So you don't want the sleeves coming over. Whereas the Western shirts are a bit longer for motorcycles and so on and so forth. But um, the only other flannels that I've had like this are really old ones from the flathead um, where they're just sort of on point, but they were really short in the body. This is just, as I said, the sweet spot, perfect length, perfect sleeves perfect silhouette you can't go wrong so pricing wise they come in around 220 us dollars or roughly i think around 200 or just under pounds 100 pounds or just under 200 pounds so what have i been using for and what honestly what are my honest thoughts around this now i'm biased because i do have another ues one and i don't have other brands there's so many of them uh but i've been using these just casually honestly uh i don't i'm not out working in a factory or anything like that uh and these are not you know, for Antarctic weather to go and keep that warm. But as you know, I've got a newborn uh, child as well that I've had for a number of weeks. And I only got this about three or four weeks ago when the child arrived. I've honestly been wearing this around the house, nursing my child. And um, it's just been, you know, very comforting at home. You know, I'm not saying it's a pair of pajamas or anything like that, but it's a really, really cool piece to be wearing uh, just to stay comfortable, stay warm inside the house. Uh, and eventually when it gets cold enough, I'm probably gonna layer this under my N1 uh, deck jacket as well. The thing about this is when I bought that, they, the, the write-up was that this would gently age and fade over time. It was translated from Japanese. So uh, I don't know if a lot of it was lost. I, I, I don't notice any fading on it at all. Um, it's kind of, will be hard to see, I guess, but um, this one doesn't say anything about fading over time, but you know, everything fades with the sun, with wear, um, not just the dying process. So, you know, I have nothing bad to say about these. Um, I would definitely get a few more if they came out with some unique different colors and, and that kind of stuff. So thumbs up from me for UES and yeah. That's it for this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if, if you did, drop a comment down below. Let me know, I always like to hear from you guys and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll tell you why you need to subscribe because next week I'm doing a video on sizing for the Flint and Tinder waxed trucker jacket. Very popular jacket. People don't know what to do with sizing. I was messed up with the sizing, but I happen to have a medium and a large. So I'm gonna compare both. So stay tuned for that. All that being said, have a great day. See you next time. Thank you.